Hey guys, Shannon from Pilates Connection here. Got a quick little core workout for you today. You can use this in conjunction with another workout that you're doing, or you can use this as a circuit to get your heart rate up and going. If you want to do this with another workout, I would say do five, five reps for each exercise, eight absolute max. Um, if it's something where you have to do one side, like our side planking, you know, you can do, you know, four on one side and four on the other, if you would like. Um, just be mindful that you don't need to do a bazillion reps to get your heart rate up. It will do it on its own. If you want to do this as a circuit, I would do about five rounds and eight to 10 reps like we would normally do in class. And apparently, Ozzy is in agreement with that. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do are our elbow plank walks. So any planks can be done on your uh, toes or your knees and your hands or your elbows. So this one, you can't just stay on your elbows for obvious reasons, but you can be on your toes or your knees. So um, let's go ahead and get started. We're not going to want to have our butt sticking up in the air, sagging into our shoulders and hyperextending our elbows while letting our core go. So we want to keep the creases of our arms pointing towards each other. We want to keep down through our shoulders and our back engaged, our core nice and lifted, and we're not going to tuck our butt, but we're not going to let it stick up in the air either. Okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to walk down to the right side, down to the left side, up and up, and then switch down to the left side, down to the right side, up and up. If you'd like, you can be down on your knees. And same thing, you might need to walk your knees out just a little bit so when you go down, your butt's not sticking straight up in the air. Um, but down on the right side, down on the left side, up, up, down on the left side, down on the right side, up, and up. Okay? Next thing we're going to do are um, opposite knee to elbow pulls in our plank position. You can't really do this on your knees and your elbows just simply because you don't have a lot of space to pull your knee and your elbow in together. Um, but you can do it on your hands and on your knees and as well as on your hands and your toes. Um, quick tip, if you have your mat on a wooden floor, be careful. It can get a little slippery. Um, if you can put your mat on a carpeted floor, that would be great just so it doesn't slip around on you. I'm sure you guys can hear mine kind of squeak in and see it sliding a little bit. So, but let's go ahead and get started. So, we're up on our hands and our toes. Same thing, keep down through our shoulders and our back engaged. Core lifted, and we're going to tuck our right elbow to our left knee. Sorry, as my mat starts to shift on me. So, I'm going to move my hands forward here. So, right elbow, left knee, and down. Left elbow, right knee and down, and switch, and switch, and you can also go down to your knees, stay up on your hands though, and pull in, another side. So I actually kind of prefer being on my knees and my hands for this exercise, because I can really feel that core contraction. Okay, let's take a look at my cheat sheet really quick, and we're going to move to our side planks. So side planks are very similar to our regular planks where you can do them on your knees or your feet and arms, um, your hands or your elbows. So if we want to be on our elbows and our um, knees, we're going to make sure our shoulder and our elbow are in line with each other. You don't want your shoulder to be over or not quite there. This can really put you at risk for injuring your shoulder not having um, your shoulder too far forward. So make sure everything is nice and lined up. So we're not gonna sink down into this supporting side. We're gonna keep it nice and lifted. And you notice how that automatically engages into my shoulder. And then we're gonna keep our shoulders stacked too. I'm not gonna let that top shoulder roll forward. And I'm not gonna let my hips roll forward either. So everything's gotta be nice and in its place and space. And then I'm gonna lift up into my side plank and dip my hip down and up, down, up, down, and up. If you want to add a little bit of a challenge to it, you can take your top leg, place that foot forward, 
sorry. Back leg will be behind you, and you're gonna lift up and dip your hip down, up, down, up, down, and up. If you'd like to increase the challenge a little bit more, you can stack your feet, okay? Be mindful you're not letting your body rotate forward. And we're gonna lift up and dip your hip down, up, down, up, down, and up. So when we do that, we're gonna stay lifted through that side. You're really gonna feel it working in your shoulder, probably a lot more than you would expect. Next thing we're gonna do, work on our dead bugs a little bit. And if you've ever been in any of my classes, you know I love a good dead bug. So let's go ahead and roll back. We're gonna bring our arms up over our shoulders, make sure our shoulders are relaxing down on the mat. We're gonna inhale, exhale, bring one leg up into tabletop. Inhale, exhale, bring your other leg up into tabletop. Make sure you're not curling your tail up off the mat and make sure you're not letting your hips roll forward and overarching your lower back, okay? If you need to, you can imprint to keep that nice stability or you can keep that nice little natural curve in your lower back. If this is already a lot of work, just stay here for a second. Take a couple deep breaths in and exhale out. As you exhale out, feel that transverse abdominus kick in and help cinch down and pull down your belly instead of pushing everything up and out, okay? Then if you would like, you can tap one toe down and back up and the other toe down and back up. So be careful, we don't wanna let our hips rock forward and lose control of this. And you can almost automatically feel your hip flexors doing a lot of work when you do that. It's really, really uncomfortable. So tap your toe down, exhale, and use that core contraction to float that leg back up. Okay? Then if you'd like, instead of tapping your toe down, you can extend your leg out and in. Out and out, exhale in, out, in. To increase the difficulty a little bit more, you can do opposite arm and leg. Exhale as you bring everything together. So make sure as you take that arm up over your head that you're not losing your rib, which is gonna make you lose your core and everything's gonna get crazy, okay? We're gonna keep that core nice and stable. Okay? All right. So, quick little core workout. As I said earlier, you can do it in addition to another workout or you can make it into a circuit to really get your heart rate up and really feel those core muscles working when you're finished. Okay? So, I hope you guys have a great day.